guys, what's up? It's Angelina and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be filming a video that I thought would be super fun and just something that I've been wanting to do for a while. So if you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and let's get into it. So today I wanted to film a pros and cons list of USF because if you guys don't know, I currently go to USF. I'm actually in my senior year. I'm about to graduate really soon. So I thought this was the perfect time to be doing this video. I make college and lifestyle videos. So if you guys haven't seen any of my vlogs, all of my college week in the life videos are me at USF. So I transferred to USF in the beginning of 2019. It was the spring semester. And since then I've learned quite a bit of things and some things I wish I knew before I went. It is super diverse. And that is something that was actually on my like college list. That's kind of something that I was looking for when I was looking into colleges because that is just something that's really important to me. And I just wanted to be in a space where I felt really um, accepted and also somewhere where I could learn about other people's cultures and just kind of like a school that really cared about where people came from. Some things that USF has that I really like is the fact that they do not only have your typical sorority and fraternities but they also have like a multicultural Greek life which I think is super cool and it's actually really a thriving community at USF. Um, in general, like in a classroom, you will see like so many different kinds of people. They also have like different cultural events that you can go to on campus. I know like the Students of India Association actually holds like a holy event, which I thought was really fun. So should we do all pros and then all cons? Another pro is that USF actually has three campuses. So you have USF Tampa, which is the main campus, which I feel like if you apply to USF, that's usually where you're trying to go. It is the biggest campus and it actually um, is located in Tampa. And then we also have two other campuses, which is the St. Pete campus. And then you have the USF Sarasota campus, which is closer to Sarasota and those two schools are actually smaller why this is a pro is because when you are registering for classes you're actually able to also register at any of the campuses if a class is full at usf tampa or if there's a better professor at another branch you're basically allowed to enroll in any of the usf campuses and this actually really helps because for example, I've had professors at USF Tampa that, you know, I looked at their rank my professor and it wasn't the best and then I found a better professor at USF St. Pete and I was able to take it over there instead. You have more options and more choices and if things get full, you can always check the other campuses or sometimes the lectures are full at USF Tampa and I'm still able to kind of squeeze myself into another lecture just at a different campus. So it's actually like one of the most beneficial things and it's something that I wish I knew about a lot sooner. We're 20 minutes away from like everything I feel like. So we're 20 minutes away from downtown, which is honestly where you really want to be because it is just so much nicer. There's Riverwalk, there's all the cool fun things that downtown has to offer. The bars are in Soho for the most part. So we're pretty much 20 minutes away from anywhere. And if you Uber anywhere, I'm going to say you're probably going to pay like $15 to like $20 for an Uber. So as long as you split it with your friends, it's super cheap. And also we're about the same distance away from the Tampa airport. So if you ever have to go to the airport or anything like that, it's like super convenient. No matter where you're going, you're able to get there in like 15 to 20 minutes. So that's like a definitely a pro and downtown Tampa is the nicest. So if you go to Tampa, if you go to USF, you definitely have to visit. Also there's Hyde Park. There's like a whole bunch of other locations. And if you guys want like a places I recommend to go if you go to USF, then definitely let me know. I feel like we have great amenities. So what I mean by that is we actually have a on-campus pool, which is at the FIT, which the FIT is one of the gyms that we have. I believe we have three on-campus gyms. We have the REC, which is the main huge gym that I go to all the time. And the REC actually offers classes that you can take. So not just like your regular gym equipment, you can actually take classes, which I've done. I love going cycling at USF. It's one of my favorite things. I definitely recommend it. Um, they have cycling, they have boxing, they have HIIT workouts. They have so many different things that you can actually register for. I believe it's free as long as you don't cancel, but you do it through your student account. And so you can, you're able to see the schedule 
and for like all of the classes you choose and as long as you register for your spot you have a spot and all you have to do is show your id at the door of the class i've done yoga i've done um i've done yoga i've done zumba and i've done cycling and so far cycling is my favorite so i think it's really cool that usf offers like classes because i know if you're like me you probably want to take like cycling classes downtown and those can be super expensive even though i will say those are like really nice the library is opened pretty late and i'll have the library schedule like the regular schedule on screen i believe we also have um a time when the library is like 24 hours so that's cool because when i went to another school they actually didn't offer like the library to be open that late and if you do stay at the library late you actually just have to there's like a guard at the front and you pretty much just show them your id and they let you in but i think it's really safe because they don't let just like anybody walk in at night also a cool thing about the library as you get higher up it gets quieter but it also gets nicer and doesn't look as like dusty as the first two floors but if you want to be louder, you have to be like within the first like two or three floors. So keep that in mind. We actually have new dorms and at a lot of the Florida schools, you'll notice like the dorms are like not that great. Um, they kind of get like dusty and crusty after a while. And some of the Florida schools have been around for so long and they have not updated their dorms or built new dorms. And USF actually has a new or like newer area of dorms it's called the villages so nice i will include any videos i have of me studying at the villages i've had friends that lived in the villages instead of living in any of the other dorms like the traditional dorms that we have the normal dorms i would say like beta or maple which those are pretty common dorms that have been around for a while but the newer dorms are so nice okay and 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 we also have on campus Publix that actually just opened up. It's right next to the villages. It has actually saved my life so much. Not only can you get your groceries and your pub subs, you can also get $5 sushi on Wednesdays. So the Publix on campus has been like a lifesaver. And even having an apartment, I still do my grocery shopping there. It's actually a short walk away from the student union, which I spend all my time in there. I think you guys know. Um, we actually just got some new restaurants there. So I'm like giving you the whole shebang about USF right now. Okay. We have a Panera Bread, which is new and actually just opened up last semester. So there's a Panera in there. There's also... Um, yeah, there's a lot of things. There's a Chick-fil-A. Oh my god, the new Chick-fil-A, you guys. Dude, USF is really stepping up their game. The new Chick-fil-A is really nice, okay? And it wasn't there before. It just opened. I feel like everything is just opening. So a pro is USF keeps updating their campus. And it's just so much nicer because it's very, like... I don't know like it's nice to go to college but sometimes i'm like you guys couldn't make that look a little bit better like you guys couldn't have upgraded that a little bit so it's nice that usf is actually upgrading and adding new restaurants and stuff like that so personally it's a win-win you don't really need a car and i would know because i didn't have a car for my first year at usf and yeah i don't think anybody i knew had a car the first year and would it be helpful to have a car yes especially if you are doing groceries and stuff like that but it's not necessary i still survived um i took the bus everywhere take advantage of the bus learn how to use the bus there's an app for it um yeah the bus will pretty much take you anywhere on campus and to some places off campus too it'll take you to the walmart which we'll get into people think the walmart is scary the walmart is not that scary everyone's dramatic so it'll take you to the Walmart and it'll also take you to some of the apartments that are a little bit off campus. So if you live a little bit off campus, you're able to still use the bus. My apartment complex was connected to like the bus system. So I was able to use the bus, which really helps because on campus, it's really hard to find parking sometimes. And then something else that I added to the pros list is that USF is actually connected and partnered with some of the surrounding health things in the area so what i mean by that is as a pre-med it's really important that you know i go somewhere that i feel like the school has like connections to so we have usf health and we also have a on-campus moffitt which moffitt is actually a cancer center and we have one 
directly on campus and we also have ones uh, like literally across the street from campus it's beneficial because if you need to get volunteering hours or if you maybe even want to get a job at the hospital there's a hospital like within reach and you don't have to drive super far or if you don't have a car you can always just take the bus or walk so the Moffitt I actually volunteered at and as a pre-med obviously I need to volunteering hours and stuff like that so it was definitely beneficial and it's really cool because you can kind of like make connections oh another pro and this is something that I forgot so let's include it so another pro is Gasparilla and Gasparilla is actually a Tampa thing this is not like a USF thing but you're gonna be living in Tampa so it's gonna be a thing pretty much like an excuse to party all day and you just go downtown everyone dresses up like pirates um, I'll include my Gasparilla pictures, but it's usually in January and it's kind of cold outside But you pretty much from the moment you wake up until you go to sleep You're pretty much drinking you go downtown. There's a parade There's like all of these pirate related things going on, but mostly you just drink alcohol everybody goes all the UT kids go UT is the University of Tampa by the way even people who don't even go to USF come down to go like and there's so many people and everyone is so like kind of like belligerent so, you know, it's definitely not everyone's scene and I personally think going once a year is enough. Um, but, you know, it is fun and it's fun to dress up and it's fun to kind of do day drinking if you've never done it. That's pretty much what I have for my pros list. I'm going to talk about cons. I really hope I'm not missing anything because I wanted to make this as informative as I could while still also giving you like the real tea. <laughs> so these are just my personal cons. I don't know if these are everyone else's cons, but let's get into it. One of the cons is smart lab hours. And you're like, what is that? This could actually be a pro and this could be a con, but we're just, we're putting it in the cons, okay? It has to be a certain type of math class, but I've taken pre-calc, I've taken college algebra, and I know Calc 1, Calc 2, Business Calc, and some other things. I think maybe physics? I'm not sure. But some of the math classes offered, you actually, like, once you enroll in the math class, they actually have a requirement of math lab hours. So the Smart Lab is located on the second floor of the library, and pretty much you have to do a certain amount of hours every single week in that specific smart lab. So what you do is you sign in with your U number, which is your ID number. And once you sign in, it'll start kind of calculating the time that you spent in there. So it really depends on the class and the professor, but usually it's something around like every week you have to spend at least two hours in there. So, you know, whether you split that up among like 30 minutes every day or however you wanna go one day and spend all the two hours in there, don't recommend that, but I would do that sometimes. Make sure you know what's required of you by your professor, but usually there's a certain amount of time that you have to spend in there. And also there's certain things that can only be done in there because for your math class, there's usually gonna be things that are IP restricted. So meaning that if you are in any part of the school or if you're using your own laptop you won't be able to take anything that isn't allowed outside of the smart lab range you're going to be taking your exams in the smart lab and you're going to be taking your quizzes in the smart lab usually you can do homework in the smart lab or on your own laptop so you know no one's checking for you but for the quizzes and for the exams you're going to be in the smart lab and that's kind of gets annoying because you know Sometimes you just want to be like at home or at your apartment doing your homework and doing your stuff, but you have to get the allotted time. And actually Smart Lab actually low-key helped me because I hate math and I think a lot of people hate math, so I feel like that's why they came up with this. Because you're in there, they actually have TAs that walk around and there's always going to be TAs in there and they're there for one, making sure that you're not cheating on your quizzes and your exams, but also, they're there to help you if you have questions with anything math related, that's what they're there for. Probably without Smart Lab, I wouldn't have passed math because I just hate doing math. So the fact that I had to sit there for two hours every single week and do some form of math really helped. USF is not really huge on Greek life. And that being said, Greek life does exist. We have regular Panhellenic Greek life, like the ones you see out of the movies. And we also have multicultural Greek life. So, you know, it's there, but 
you don't have to be involved in a fraternity or a sorority to be invited to things to go to social events it's honestly not as big as it probably is at other florida schools we have a greek village at ucf i know they have a greek row the houses are huge over there but at usf the houses are smaller and it's just not really like a big deal here but that being said i know people in greek life they love it they do it um but if you think that you have to join a sorority or fraternity to be involved or to be invited to things you definitely don't um i've definitely been invited to frat parties and stuff without even being in a sorority so you know I put one of the cons as dining hall food like could go either way because the dining hall food is actually good like when you eat it and I've eaten there so many times we have multiple dining halls we have juniper poplar which I think is my favorite because the food is better I think and then we have the one that's by the fit so personally my favorite is the one at juniper poplar it's definitely more of a walk and I think the people that live there is usually freshmen so usually that's like the freshmen go there but the freshmen can go anywhere and if you live in the villages there's one there that's right next to the gym which is called fit so yeah we have a lot of options but I will say the food is actually good okay the fries banging um you know they switch it up there's like a salad bar there's like so many different variations of things you can get there's gluten-free options there's a lot of things but it's a con because you're gonna probably gain weight or get bloated so you know if you get a, a meal plan it's kind of up to you i never had a meal plan i just kind of went in with friends and they would usually swipe me in so i wasn't really eating it a lot i did a lot of cooking and stuff um but if you're a freshman and you're living in a dorm you probably are going to get a meal plan and the food is good but be careful that's it we actually don't have a stadium on campus so we actually go to raymond james stadium to look at football games and this is actually not that big of a deal as you would think unless you're someone who wants the stadium to be like on campus if you're going to be there every day usf actually does provide buses that you can get on to that will take you to and from the stadium you just kind of have to sign up and do the whole thing i personally never been i've never taken the bus to go to raymond james but you can do it um you can also drive your car and park there or you can uber which i've just ubered the stadium is not that far away it's about like i would say like 15 20 minutes it's closer to the airport so yeah also it's kind of a pro because the stadium is huge because it's raymond james stadium not like a college football stadium so i mean it is what it is but you know if you're gonna be tailgating and stuff you usually have to tailgate on the lawn of raymond james stadium which is what everyone does so it is kind of a little bit of a drive but it's really not too bad so i just kind of put it because it's a thing i know that right now a lot of you guys are exploring your college options know the t on where you're going and if you are considering usf i go there i love it you can always dm me any of your questions and i'm you know i'm gonna be happy to respond to you guys if you guys wanted to see my high school gpa and stats i have a video on it it's actually thriving right now for some weird reason i'll have it linked i know you guys can't really do any campus tours or anything like that right now i'm not really sure how that's working so i do have vlogs of me at usf so i will have my college vlog series linked if you want to see any of those videos and kind of want to see what a day in the life of a usf student is like and yeah thank you guys so much for watching and if you guys enjoyed don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and definitely comment down below and i will talk to you guys in the next one bye